So the last and final way that we can use to solve a quadratic equation is using the quadratic formula. We will see a proof to this, but it's using completing the square. So there's a way you prove this formula to be true by completing the square. We will watch that in class together. So as long as we know a, b, and c and our equations equal to zero, we can solve for x by being negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So you do need to memorize this formula. So let's look at example one below. Here we see a is negative three, b is negative 11, c is four because it's already equal to zero. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four a c all over two a. So in that first step, all I did was plug in my a, b, and c into my formula. From this step on, we're just simplifying. So negative negative 11 is 11, plus or minus the square root of 121 plus 48, all over negative six. So now 121 plus 48 is 169, and now we know the square root of 169. It is 13. So now we can split this up into two answers. 11 plus 13 divided by negative 6 and 11 minus 13 divided by negative 6. Well, 11 plus 13 is 24 over negative 6, which is negative 4, and negative 11, I mean 11 minus 13 is negative 2 over negative 6, which is 1 third. Negative 2 over negative 6 is 1 third. So x equals negative 4 or 1 third using the quadratic formula. Here in number two, now it's a little different, one extra step. First, we must get our quadratic equal to zero. 7x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals zero. So now we have a, b, and c. So it must be equal to zero first before you can use the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now that I've plugged everything in, I can simplify x equals 2, plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 224 all over 14. So x equals 2 plus or minus square root of 228 all over 14. So 228, I can break down to be square root of 4, square root of 57 all over 14. So that's 2 plus or minus 2 square root 57. all over 14. So if we want to think about how to simplify this, it's 2 over 14 plus or minus 2 square root 57 over 14. Well, 2 over 14 reduces to be 1 7 plus or minus 1 square root 57 over 7. So that would be completely simplified. I simplified my radicals and I simplified my fractions.